Hey everyone, so I just wanna go over how I built my first software. So uh, if you don't know me, my name is Karsten. I have a company that is coldleads.com. We do automations for appointment setting or getting calls booked on your calendar for sales purposes. Uh, and so this video is a little different. I'm just gonna talk about my experience of building my first software and, uh, or not really me building it, but hiring to build my first software. I mean. I, kind of built it. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're just going to go over um, the process and how accessible it actually really is. So it's funny because I have, um, when I thought about it in the past, when I thought about building softwares in the past, it's always been like, you have to have tens of thousands of dollars to build anything significant. And you have to, even if you're hiring, hiring an offshore development team, which is like, you know, you can hire a team of developers in India or Pakistan or something, and you can get them to do it for you. Uh, but it's still very, very expensive to do that. And that was a problem because, um, you know, I, if you want to be a part of this world, you have to pay these massive amounts of money to actually be a part of the world, right? You have to, um, you know, purchase your ticket to be a part of the game. And the problem is most of us didn't have that kind of money. So um, I had a friend that spent $40,000 on a website and I was like, $40,000, that is insane. Um, and it, it, the website's cool and all, but it's like, it's not... It was just properly built out, you know? And, um, you know, when you think about that, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't have $40,000 to just blow on a website, you know? Uh, so it seems inaccessible, but I'm going to kind of share how accessible it really is or, you know, for my purposes. So anyways, I do a lot of uh, automations. And so automations require coding to automate the things. And so um, I was partnered with a couple people. I knew a developer and he knew how to use, um, I think PHP, C++, um, maybe a Python, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but I was thinking maybe I should learn these coding languages because there's so many things that I want to build, you know, because my job is to automate things. I'm relying so much on other people's tools and I don't really want to rely on their tools because they have limitations and I want to create my own tools so that they don't have these limitations. And um, I was thinking, well, maybe I should learn JavaScript. The problem is, is that learning JavaScript is such a, like when you think about it, it's like that's such a big task or learning Python. It's like, that's so big and broad and it's very hard to put your mind around learning JavaScript, you know? So, um, you know, I've been like, let's say editing videos for a long time. Uh, since I was like 12 years old, I've been like doing videos and videos you can pick up in like a couple of days, but, um, you know, you can get better and better, better at it over time. But I feel like you know, coding is kind of the same way, but it's like, it, it's so much more advanced, I guess. I don't know. Anyways. Um, so I had a hard time, uh, trying to, you know, use other people's tools. I wanted to create my own tools, but I figured it was inaccessible because how expensive everything was. And then I found this tool called RoboMotion. And so this is called an RPA tool, a robotic process automation. And it was like a deal that I found on AppSumo, uh, which if you don't know, AppSumo is a site where you can get like deals and softwares. And they were putting it on there. It was like a couple hundred dollars and you just got access to the tool. And it was pretty cool because you could build out these automations using bubbles. And I'm going to show you kind of what one looks like, but you know, you ever seen like a kid, they play with these apps that like teach them how to code and they're just like bubbles and they drag them and they drop them and basically like that, but for adults. And, uh, this was a really cool tool and it was allowing me to do a lot of different automations. And so it's really created. It's called robotic process automation or just automates things uh, on your computer. And so um, here is one example. I would build these out a little bit and you see all these little bubbles. And so it's like, it's opening a Google sheet, it's gonna open a website and then it's going to do these little processes. It was quite a bit of a learning curve. It, there was a lot of trial and error. I remember like, there was a lot of me just like pacing back and forth. Like, how do I do this? <laughs> how do I get it to where it clicks this button? Um, a lot of uh, annoying, because when you don't know, you just don't know, you don't know how to do it. So it's kind of frustrating, but I'm glad I went through it because um, I'll tell other people, yeah, you should just use RoboMotion to you know, fix that problem. You know, I have a lot of other people that do about the same thing that I do and I, we talk back and forth and they want to do something specific. And I said, yeah, you know, you can just use RoboMotion. And then they're like, yeah, I have no clue how to use this tool. It's super frustrating. I'm like, yeah, well, you just have to get kind of through the, the learning curve. Um, and so now I'm kind of through the learning curve. I know how to do it. And it's kind of like, I know how to code, but just with these bubbles and just on this tool. So it's like, I know the robo motion language. Uh, and so the problem is, is that this has limitations. I tried to build out my own tool using like a web hook. You know, I created a landing page or like this website where you fill out a form and then it triggers this flow to start running. And then 
it does these certain actions, but it would just break constantly because we're using like three separate tools. We're using like Pabli or Zapier to connect the website to RoboMotion, and then we're using RoboMotion, which is connecting to some other website, and it's like all these tools start to break really easily, so it's kind of frustrating. So um, that was a problem. So I, I liked using this tool, but I would try to create my own tools using this tool, but um, it just didn't really work. So um, then I would try to create these tools and then give them to my customers because a lot of people, you know, I'm building these things out for my customers to get better results. And so I'd be like, here, take this tool, download it, and then try to run it. The problem is, is that they don't understand the tool either. So um, when they try to run it and it didn't work, they had no clue how to fix it because I'm the one that created this thing. And it's just all these bubbles that they don't understand. So um, that was a problem too. So I was thinking, well, is there any way, like how do I, how much would it really cost to get this built? Like what would it really take to, for me to build out something that uh, could do this thing? Sorry, it's my phone. Um, <laughs> So there's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of ideas that I have because all I do is automations. So there's all these ideas that I um, want to do, and I just wanted to start with one thing, and that one thing was an Instagram automation. So a lot of people were asking me, you know, I use LinkedIn, Facebook, SMS, email uh, automations to reach out to people, and a lot of people were asking me, well, what about Instagram? Have you tried Instagram before? And I haven't because I just don't really use Instagram that much anymore. But so many people were requesting it, so I was thinking, well, how much would it cost to really build it out? So I built it out through RoboMotion. I built you know, the tool that I wanted, and then I basically just posted a job on Upwork saying, hey, I want this tool built, but as a Chrome extension. So I showed the tool that I had built, which is, you know, I just kind of ran it, and I showed you know, all the bubbles, like, hey, this is what each one of them is doing, and all I want you to do is create a Chrome extension that does the exact same thing. And so um, put a job out there, and then I had a couple of responses. And um, I've hired on Upwork in the past, and there has been mixed experiences. And what I've realized is that when you hire cheap, you're going to get cheap results. And it's so much more frustrating when you hire cheap. So I actually hired someone to do um, a little software thing or a little automation before I even knew what RPA was or anything. I just hired them to create this bot for me to uh, create accounts and all this random stuff. And it was just so frustrating because there was so many back and forth. And um, it's just a lot of things that just didn't work. And then, um, you know, eventually the tool was built out and then it broke after like two days. And then I hired somebody else to fix it. And then they fixed it and like they knew exactly what the problem was, but they were so much more expensive, but they fixed it in like an hour, you know? So it's like, okay, this person costs $40 an hour. The other person costs $10 an hour. This person, the guy that cost $10 an hour to, would have taken him 10 hours to figure out the problem. This guy took him one hour to fix the problem. I get it done in a quicker amount of time, and it cost it actually cost me less um, because the guy was actually better and he knew you know the ins and outs. So um, it's it's way more efficient just to hire someone that actually knows what they're doing. So when you're hiring on Upwork or if you're hiring anyone for any reason at all, you usually want to know that they have experience. So if you're hiring someone like for marketing, uh, and it, this is kind of a mixed advice, I guess. So if you're just starting out, then I you know this is. <laughs> Uh, anyways, <laughs> if you're hiring someone to do marketing for you, then it's like you probably want them to actually have results. So I've hired people to do marketing for me on Upwork, and they said that they had results, and they said, you know, we worked in other industries, and this is pretty similar to that. And then when I when they did the task, they weren't able to get me results, and then um, I just basically lost my money because I just believed them. I didn't really I didn't look at any testimonials or anything. And so when I put a job out for this uh, Instagram tool. I was saying, hey, can someone build out this tool for me? And I had a lot of responses of a whole bunch of different people. And then some of them were like, yeah, I've never really built out a Chrome extension. I wanted it built out as a Chrome extension. And I said, I never really built out a Chrome extension before, but um, you know, I have this, that, and the other. And I was like, well, ew, you know, I don't really know if I want to hire you if you've never actually done it. Um, and so you know, I had a lot of those. But then I had one guy that basically he, um, he had like 40 Loom videos that he sent me of all Chrome extensions that he's built out. And it was very like, uh, I don't know, it was like very convincing, right? It was very convincing. That's obviously, it's easy to sell something when you're convinced <laughs> or when you have full certainty of the thing. So um, he was pretty certain in his abilities. He cost $40 an hour, and uh, but he was very good at what he did. So I hired him to, to do the task and he built it out and it was built out really well. And so I was able to um, build out this software Cool. So this is a Instagram automation, cold leads, IG bot. Very simple. You just put in some usernames. You can toggle, you know, whether or not you want to follow these people, how many users you want to follow, or you want to send a message to that day. And all it's going to do 
It's going to send a message to the, those people saying, um, hey, you know, this is who I am. This is my offer. I just want to see if you're interested. So it's basically just to pitch people. And uh, you can have a time interval and everything here. And it's pretty cool. And um, it's for free. So if you want to, it's free as of right now. So um, it's going to be paid soon. So if you want access to it, I'll put a link in the description below. But um, you just download it and you use it and you run it. And the link in the description will have a video on how to use it and everything like that. But this is basically what it is. And so I built it out. And it cost me about $500 to build it out. And to me, $500 is very, very cheap compared to the $40,000 that my friend spent on building a website. So um, it, it was weird to me how accessible this was. Like, you know, like if I knew this before that building out a software only cost me $500, I would have paid $500 a lot sooner. And um, there's a tool that I use a lot called Friend Connector. And this tool, I love this tool, but there's some limitations to it. And so I basically, um, I went to him and I said, how about we build a friend connector? Like how, how about we build this tool, but just add these features to it. And he said, you know, it's going to take this amount of time. Maybe basically it's going to cost $1,500. And to me, um, I've probably already spent a thousand dollars on this tool, you know, month to month. So spending $1,500 to build it out for myself and then I can sell it myself. <laughs> Holy cow. That's crazy. And so I was able to actually get, um, two other partners to partner with me to build the tool and it's like, I, d I really didn't even need the partners because it's like, it's only 1500 bucks to build out this tool. But, um, you know, so basically we're going to split the cost in three ways. So it's only going to cost us each $500 to build out the tool and we're all going to benefit from it in different ways. So, you know, $500 to build out this tool that I already use like almost every single day and it works really well for me and he's just going to build it out himself. Um, I also had him build out a, a tool called a, a calendar invite tool and sorry, my head is I keep forgetting to switch my camera like that but um I had him build out this tool which is it basically will send calendar invites to a whole bunch of group of people and you just click there and click create events and then it just boom it sends it over and I'll probably get an email in a second saying hey you were invited to this event um but anyways this is another tool that he built out and this cost me about three hundred dollars to build out um and for three hundred dollars this this tool already made me like six grand and I used it once. <laughs> so for $300, I made $6,000 and I only use it once. And so this, it's going to repeat and repeat and repeat. I'm going to get more deals and more deals and more deals out of this tool. Um, and I, you know, it only cost me $300. So it's weird how accessible it was to me. Um, that software was, you know, cause everyone is saying that it's going to, it's going to be at least 10 to 20 grand to build out whatever, you know, you want to build out. And, um, I was able to figure out how we can build out these simple tools that, you know, help me and my clients for just a couple hundred dollars, you know? So then, um, uh, a part of this, right. A part of this task right here that I just showed you the, um, calendar invite tool. It's, uh, I hired actually another person to do, to do the same task. So I actually hired the other person first. So, um, I didn't think that the guy that was creating this Chrome extension, uh, was going to do this. So I just put another job out saying, Hey, I just need this done for another Chrome extension. You know, I was just trying to hire somebody else to see if I can actually get some uh, better hires. Then I had someone bid on the you know job and they said, you know, it's actually going to cost $10 an hour. It's only going to take me three hours. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, three hours for 30 bucks, like to build out the software. That's amazing. Um, but it came to the point again, where I was hiring someone that wasn't as competent and they didn't really know what they were doing. And so it became a headache to where, um, uh, that actually cost me a hundred dollars and I didn't get anything out of it. Uh, so basically he's like, no, actually, how about we do it like this? So at first it was going to be a Chrome extension. Um, and he said, you know, it's actually kind of hard to um, automate on a Chrome extension with this thing and whatever. So I was like, okay, that makes sense. What, what, what about, what if we do it through the, uh, Google sheets tool, which I just showed you, like, what if, what if we just built that out? And uh, he said, no, the best way to do it is through a desktop app and then all this stuff. And he was building out this really basic, ugly desktop app for, um, you know, just doing this little task. And it was very frustrating because at first it was supposed to take three hours. It's going to take one day to deliver what the end result was. And he did not get it to me in that one day. And then it was like a weekend and a, you know, it was supposed to be done by Monday and then it wasn't done by Monday. And then it was the next Friday and he still didn't have anything for me. So I was like, dude, if you don't have anything for me within the next 24 hours, I'm just going to end the deal. And, uh, he had something for me, the desktop app. And then he sent it to me and just, it didn't even work whatsoever. And so I was like, look, I'm just going to, we're just going to end this contract. I'm not going to waste any more money on this. So basically wasted a hundred dollars and didn't get anything out of it. So again, you don't want to hire anyone that doesn't know what they're doing. And, uh, there's no point in hiring cheap because, um, you know, 
it just it's so much more of a hassle to hire cheaper hire people that are kind of incompetent. Um, not that I I have respect for these people, right? And I'm not trying to say they're bad, but it's just like it was just so much easier to work with a guy that actually knew what he was doing. And so then I went back to the guy that was making the um, Instagram bot, and he actually has experience with a Google um, Google App Sheets. So Google has like their own um, programming language. It's basically JavaScript, and uh, it helps you connect like Google apps together. And so I was like, hey, can you build this out? And he's like, yeah, sure. So it, I paid three hundred dollars to him, and he built it out in a couple, you know, a couple of days. And so um, even though it was more expensive, right, it was just so much less of a hassle, and it works so well. And I just don't have to worry about it anymore. So um, now he's building out that Facebook tool that I was talking, the friend connector thing that I showed you, um, that I paid a hundred dollars a month for. So I might as well just, um, you know, create my own version of the same tool. And so, uh, also it'd be beneficial for my clients and, you know, everybody's happier because of that tool. So, um, it is very accessible and it's funny because the guy that paid the $40,000 to get that website built out, he's actually a partner with me in this new Chrome extension. And he said, uh, it's crazy to me how accessible software is. And he's the one, you know, that paid that money for um, this tool. And so it's actually a lot more accessible than it seems. It's uh, not as hard as it looks. If you're trying to sell, like, okay, let's just say you're brand new, you're just watching this and you're just like, maybe I want to build a software. Maybe I want to go into SaaS, which is called Software as a Service. Uh, if that's you, sorry, touch the camera. <laughs> if that's you, um, I probably would have an audience to sell to first before you try to build up. No, it doesn't matter. You know, you can listen to my advice or not, but I kind of have an audience that is willing to buy these tools already. And so I can just sell them to them. So I can say, Hey, I've got this Instagram tool and then like a hundred people will download it. Um, so that's cool for me, but maybe software is just the one thing that you want to do and you, you don't want to, you know, I don't know, whatever <laughs> I'm giving bad advice here. <laughs> um, I don't know if software is accessible, it's really cool. I would have an audience to sell to first before you start building it out. But if you don't have an audience and this is just the main thing that you want to do, then that's still cool too. You can do that. Um, but anyways, I hope this was helpful. Hopefully this helps you make a decision on maybe if you want to go down that route, it's actually quite easy. Um, you can literally just post a job on Upwork. You can do that literally today. Just post a job. It's free to post a job on Upwork to say, Hey, I want this built out for me. Um, this, that, and the other. And then you'll have tons of people just saying, Hey, yeah, I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm interested. And then you can just talk to all of them and say, how much is it going to cost? What do you, what do you have, what have you done before? What is it going to look like? And you can get a really good understanding of um, what you can get out of your money. So uh, I do that all the time where I'm just like, I have this idea. Let me just post it on Upwork and see what I can get. And I have other people that say, um, hey, I have this idea. And I just post it on Upwork and I see what, <laughs> what you know, kind of deals I can get out of or like what I can do, how much it's going to cost me to get something specific built out. So um, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want access to that uh, Instagram tool, link in the description below. I actually, I also have a course on like, so what we do is like book calls for companies and, um, you know, get more sales for companies through direct outreach. And that's what the Instagram tool is for. That's what the Google Calendar uh, tool is for. And I have a whole course on how I do everything. And so the whole course will show you like all the tools that I use. And I, also the Google Calendar invite tool is in there. So if you want access to that, I'll put a link in the description below to the course. Um, so you can have access to that. Anyways. Uh, it's free. All those are free. Anyways, uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. I love you. I'll see you in the next one.